One of the best dirt tracks in the world is being built right now. But ask yourself, what makes a dirt track great? Because not every speedway is great. For me, there are four boxes to tick to make a dirt track a great dirt track. And by the end of this year, Australia will have a speedway that ticks all of those boxes. So a bit of a story. Last August, I did a live video and in that live video, I happened to mention this. How is the new track progressing at Bordertown? I actually wanna to talk to those guys. I'm sure if they see this or people that know them see this, then we'll, we'll chat. But to me, that will be an awesome track. If Peevely, uh, was the is the best racetrack or racing in the States, if they can replicate it, which they're trying to do, then you'll see some the best racing, it will challenge obviously to Woomba for the best racing in Australia. Not too long after that, I got a message from a lady named Chloe. The message read, Hey Toby, my name is Chloe and I am reaching out on behalf of the Tolma Speedway in Bordertown. We hear you're interested in coming down to check out what we've been up to. We would love to have you. Yada, 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 and finish with, let me know if this is something you'd be interested in. I didn't think much about it at first, but the more I did think about it, the more I got excited about the potential of this speedway and what it could mean for sprint car racing. The plan that we came up with was that when we go down south for Classic Week in January, we would put a day aside to go to Bordertown. We had to keep this pretty hush-hush at the time because there was lots of work going on behind the scenes, and not only was there no certainty that our video would end up happening, but that the track would be built at all. Fast forward a few months to January, where we could finally let people know that we'd be headed down to Bordertown. And a few days later, Matt and I got in the car and drove down south to South Australia. We saw the track, we filmed an interview, flew the drone, all of that, it was awesome. Since then, we've been asked by so many of you, where is the Bordertown video? Like it's been really surprising how many people were keen to see it. And rightfully so, because this speedway will be so good for dirt track racing in Australia. And for a while now, we've had the video mostly done, like 80% done. But the truth is we didn't really feel like we had enough content and information to put together a video to show how great this track really would be until now. Not only do we have all of that information, but things have progressed at Tolma Speedway since our visit. Okay, so that's the background story out of the way. But what makes a great dirt track? First up, behind every successful dirt track are not only people who work hard, but make you want to be there. As you'll learn, this whole project wouldn't have been possible without Tolma Speedway club president, Wayne Rout, and his team of people who care so much for the track. My name is um, Wayne Rout, president of the um, Tolma Speedway. I've been involved in the Speedway Club, originally involved in the go-kart club. Thomas Speedway's been going since the 60s and um, as a kid we used to always come here and watch the Speedway and as we've grown up we've um, got involved in the club and now it's our turn at all bit to the club. The track had been open for the last 60 odd years and like you, I wanted to understand why now was the time to make a change. Our last race meeting was um, t two years ago, so the, the reason we pulled the track out is because of safety reasons. Um, the cars are outgrowing the track. Um, yeah, it's a good opportunity to take it out and build something we want here. Next up, this one will be dependent on where you're from. And I know the Sprinker Hub audience is from all over. Almost half of our views are from Australians with the USA a little bit behind. But what amazes me is that the majority of you aren't subscribed. If you wanna see more of these videos, just click subscribe down below. But no matter where you're from, what's the greatest dirt track you can think of? Now, where is it? If you're from the USA, you might say Knoxville or Eldora. If you're from Australia, you might say Warrnambool, home of the classic. Or in my opinion, the home of the best racing in Australia, Toowoomba. But what do all of these tracks have in common? Community. Yes, it's a cliche and cringy term, but it's true. The greatest dirt tracks are all located in small towns with communities that love their speedway. As a result, these racetracks have been able to sustain a healthy following from both fans and competitors. So much work has been done by the Tolma community to prepare the Tolma Speedway for the upgrade. It's community owned, like it's a club base, so there's no um, investors or nothing like that in it. It's purely community and 
club run. And whilst the Speedway track required a major overhaul to be suitable for modern day sprint cars, the aim was to not disrupt the karting track, which is a part of the same facility, a process that was broken up into three stages. Stage one was to um, pull the existing track out, um, earthworks, um, get it into shape, because the Speedway Club and the Go-Kart Club um, share the um, complex, so go-kart pit area wasn't big enough, so stage one was to dig the track out to get enough dirt to um, get all the pit area filled in with dirt and we've put roadways and turf to sprinkler system. So that that's all part of stage one. Stage two is to get the concrete wall, get it all back filled in before winter. And stage three is um, catch fence and lighting. We've currently got application in with the state government so we're just waiting to hear back from that so hopefully that all goes well and during the winter we can do the lighting and catch fence. Box number three, the track. I know this one is kind of obvious. Sprint car fans know that every speedway has different lengths, widths, shapes, banking, surfaces, surroundings, and more to make the racing unique to each particular track. But if I asked you which dirt track has the best racing, I bet I-55 Raceway would get a mention. Which is why I'm excited that Wayne and his team decided to replicate the speedway located 15 and a half thousand kilometers away in Peavely, Missouri, in the USA. A move that, if completed, would likely bring the best drivers in the world to race in border town every season. I spoke to a lot of the sprint car drivers about that have been over in the US um, and a few mates over there what, what we should put here um, so got a lot bit of their feedback and um, we chose Peaverly so we got hold of the promoters there and asked them if we could 3D their track um, with a drone so they were all good with that so we got a company in the US to go fly the track with a drone and map it and then they sent that mapping back to Australia here and um, build our own design of it or put it onto a um, USB and then um, copied that so it's meant to be within 20-30 mil of what Peavely is now. The reason we chose Peavely is because the race is badass there. To give you an idea of just how banked this revamped version could be of this new track this pole right here, the top of the pole, signifies where the ground level of the infield used to be. For me, so many speedways in Australia lack width and banking to really show what a sprint car is truly capable of. As a result of the revamp, Tolma Speedway will be more than twice as wide as the old version and have a lot more banking. Okay, so that's three boxes ticked so far, but number four excites me just as much as the others. Location. Now, it's easy to look at Border Town as an isolated small town of just over two and a half thousand people. But when you look into it, you realize that the location is ideal for the Australian sprint car racing community. Tolma Speedway is located in the perfect spot relative to other sprint car racing tracks that already host major events. It's just over a two hour drive from Mount Gambier's Borderline Speedway, just as far south of Murray Bridge Speedway, and on top of that is only four hours from Premier Speedway in Warrnambool, the location of the Grand Annual Spring Car Classic. I personally think that Spring Car Racing in Australia needs a massive summer schedule shakeup to ensure that each track can host major Spring Car Racing events. And as Wayne points out, the track will need the support of the surrounding fans, tracks, clubs and competitors to ensure that Tolma Speedway reaches its full potential. I guess as soon as we got the track going, um, our plan is to run two major sprint car races a year. To run them races we'll need to rely on South Australia, Victoria to support it and um, with cars and then we're going to need South Australia and Victoria to support it with the fan base as well. So, so I guess when we get the track going we'll be starting starting off um, small with our crowds and stuff like that. Um, we want to make sure we can cater for the crowds and get the show down as short as we can so that 
people traveling here can get home early. So as I said at the start of our video, at the time of our visit, there was no certainty that stage three would be completed because like Wayne said, it was all dependent on the approval of a grant application with the state government. The awesome news is that since then, the grant, which was worth $500,000, has now been given the green light. And on top of that, the local government, the Tatiara District Council, will match the government's input dollar for dollar. If you're not great with math, that means $1 million will be injected into a speedway that ticks every box. To wrap up, I guess what I'm saying is that it takes all of these elements to make a great dirt track, or at least I think so. But I genuinely want to know what a great dirt track is to you. The truth is that Australia is getting a speedway that will probably be home to the best sprint car racing in the country. It makes me so happy for Australian sprint car racing to see what is happening at Thomas Speedway. I can't wait to be back in Bordertown when this new look speedway finally reopens. And whether you're a fan, a driver, a team owner, or anyone else, I think there's every reason for you to support it too. The plan would be to have it going by October, November. We've got a bit of work to do, but that, that's what we're going to try aim for. Sprinker Hub not only makes video content, but we have a great range of merchandise as well. We have first class drink bottles, hats, shirts, jackets, beanies, and so much more that I know you'll love just as much as these videos. So spoil yourself at sprinkerhub.com.